the food bank and how you do it? Sure. Saidam Food Bank started almost five years back. We, me and my sister were just sitting here in the same place and we were about to eat and we saw an article in Mississauga News saying that 195,000 people are living in poverty in P. So that went an alarm to us and we started researching what is that we can do. And that was the point where we started the food bank activities. Baba's food bank kept on going on for homeless people who are single or you know have not even having mobile issues. We started delivering food to them. Slowly, slowly we realized that I think we need to refine this because there are already food banks existing in every nick of the area. Every every postal code are put directed to. There are eight major food banks in Mississauga itself. Brampton has their own, Caledon has their own, they all have their food bank. What was the crack in the system was that the seniors and uh, people with physical disability were not able to go to the food banks to take their food. They have because for them to bring pick up food or bring home was very hard for them. And especially in winters it becomes very difficult. That is where we started the services of free home delivery. Baba put it together, food started coming in, volunteers started to join. And then first it was just in Malton, then it became region of Peel. And two years back at the Young and Dandas when the kids were performing on India Day, that is where Baba announced to say we will open it for GTA White. 24 hours, seven days a week, we are open. Anybody who is a senior, physically disabled, or somebody in crisis for various reasons could be. Could be health, could be job, could be somebody in the hospital, could be just loss of anything. Give us a call and two to four hours, if it is an emergency, food will be delivered to you. You're living in poverty, you're a senior, you're somebody with physical disability and having difficulty, call us. Somebody from, from Saidam Food Bank, a volunteer, will talk to you and fill up a form and try to understand what your needs are. What kind of a food you eat. It's not that every time you a food bank may have a food and you would eat. You may not be, you may have a different disease, you may have a different problem. So we try to assess as per the person's need. It's more like a kind of a grocery store model in terms. If we have something, we'll put, and then we'll try to buy fresh potatoes, fresh food, fruit items to go with it, milk, bread, egg, everything is put together for them to be delivered. And then a team of volunteers will deliver to your doorstep. Oh, this is what, what, we, what is the main difference between the food bank and... Uh... This first major difference is there is no food bank which is open 24 hours and 7 days a week. Second major difference is there is no food bank which is delivered to your doorstep for free of cost across GTA, no boundaries. We don't work in boundaries. We don't cross into that. Third major difference is we'll try to understand what is that you can eat. Not everybody can eat uh, tin lentil and beans because it is high in sodium. It is not good for their health. So for them, if you have seen on the other side, we have a raw section of lentil and beans. So they can have that ones. But it's not that just one type of a food, it is different. Now popcorns are there, different chocolates are there, instant noodles are there, the food, food supplements are there. That is one of the major sections for our seniors. Different type of sugars levels, it's just not one regular sugar. You can have a brown sugar with them, you can have a sugar supplement with them. That could be that they can be certain with low sodium products are there. The sugar, sugar-free jams are there with us, which, which will have no sugar. Okay. So what I understand is if uh, XYZ is calling you now and says, can I get some food? Hmm. So you ask them what they need yeah. and give them these kind of packages. Yeah. At the end of the day, all they have to do is warm it up. And eat it. Yeah. Okay. Is my understanding right? Yeah. If it is, they cannot cook at all because some can cook. Some seniors are in a position to cook. For them, then we ask them, what is that you eat? Are they the pasta people? They are more lentil beans, just salads, bread, cereals, oatmeals. Could be all. The only good part is that food is collected by from people. 
there are one or two, one or two companies they donate food. There are some small organizations that have come forward to donate food. We do bhiksha day every year to collect food. And then some some people donate some money to buy to buy our regular food stuffs to us. There is no grant. There is uh, no funding in terms. It is just Baba's grace with support of community it is running. If you know somebody, any senior across GTA who is struggling, please give us a call. You can just easily Google Saitham Food Bank and you will have the details. Let us know. We will have a word with them and see what is best we can do for them. Different oils. We have regular food oils. We have uh, olive oils here. These are certain Italian families who just want to have salads. Seniors, that is for them. Then regular other foods, oil, vegetable oils, canola oil, all oils are there, including this. Mm -hmm. Different oatmeal are available to them to go by. Okay. So it is not, the raw lentil bean section for uh, all purpose flowers are there, regular flour is there. So it is not that one six specific section we focus Okay, on. so you were saying about how do you qualify a person? When there is an talk. assessment form. Mm -hmm. Assessment forms are different questions to go by. We will ask them, what is that you, you know, what, what made you call the food bank? Have you used the services before or not? What is your financial condition? Who all is living with you? Since when I've been living in this condition, how much is your monthly income? How much are your expenses based on that? And then when we feel everything needs to be, then this goes down to assessment team to look at how the things match with them. Best part with Saidam is that we have something called an emergency service. That's one-time food service. If a person is saying just I need help for a month, we'll just give it to him. Next time may not qualify. But if you want a monthly part, you'll have to provide us with a financial statement. What's your monthly income you get? Assessment. And then the, when the volunteer goes also, he will have an idea of the situation of the person. Then, then he puts his comments and then we take it further from there. So people will subscribe for every day meal kind of thing? Every month. Okay, so you get a monthly. Yes, okay. it's a, it, this full bust, this full bin. Plus, there will be a bag of rice, bag of flour, a bag of potatoes, fruits, milk, bread, egg over this. So approximately eighty to hundred pounds of food goes to one family. We have uh, when the schools will start now from June. We have three hundred kids per day. If you. If I would request you to, there's a letter right hanging there on the top. Mm -hmm. Just blow India Day. That's a school in Mark. 300 kids per day get free lunch. That is supplied, non-perishable is supplied by Baba and it's the, they cook in the school. Along with that, not only that, we Saitham Food Bank supports local food banks also, local churches also. Whatever food we have, as per Baba's policy, is that Try to share more, give more, then keep more. So whatever food stuffs we have, we try to give. We try to share with them. It gets per day. There are approximately uh, 300 families a month. Then there are uh, women's shelter supported. Then there are different churches supported. There are different food banks, like Masasaga Food Bank, Night Stable, like other food banks. They are supported. They have been giving food part to them. So Baba makes sure it is not only just supporting families, it is also supporting local organizations, local churches also, that everybody is able to serve more and more people. Where we cannot reach, maybe they can reach it. The purpose is to serve the hunger, not just be any part, just be serving, keep serving and keep sharing. Mm, it is not supported by me, it is me and my sister always say, it, it is Almighty's grace, it's approximately give and take 300 people per month, 300 food baskets going out. Now that is variable, that is sometimes... Approximately. Yes, why? Because we say that sometimes we may have uh, low numbers, some may we have higher numbers, because we are we are on crisis line, if you call 211, they will tell you, oh, mobile food banks, either food bank, free delivery, they are the only one can do it. Weekends we have heavy traffic because all food banks are closed, there is no food bank open. So that's part of it. So a lot of those uh, holidays time and other times, it is just either food bank which is open all the time that gets over and then it is approximately depending on the requirement of the family because some people are struggling with uh, blood pressure from arthritis from dementia and you name them and can they cannot have the same food so we have to make sure that different kind of food stuff 
is put together for them to be there. Fresh fruits are there, vegetables are there, potatoes are there, eggs are there. There are a lot of items you put together. And then most of the time you might have to buy this stuff from the market. Like totally we purchase it for the somebody who cannot even cook anything. They want something, they can instantly warm it and eat it. So those kind of things we put together and then get it delivered to them. Okay. And uh, what number they call in general? We have three numbers we have. One is 437 988 4422 then they have a 647-291-3838 and the third number is 905-956-2646 we do get lot of referrals from CCSCs like you know the social workers who visit local people <clears throat> lot of them across GT have the number so they will call send emails to us We'll get email referral. Sometimes there's an online form of Saidam Food Bank. If you go, there's an online form for you to refer somebody to us. Just fill that form. It comes to us. It will take it. And if you like to help us, support us for sure. There are various ways you can help us. We are in really look for more volunteers to who can help us in delivering food anytime across TTA. We are definitely seeing who can help us support our programs in terms of uh, getting fresh food uh, all the time to go on who can help us doing for food drives for us. And if you're an organization, you can have some uh, monthly contribution to help us because we are struggling to have some more del delivery vehicles we need. We need a little more better space now to take our stuff because it is too much stuff as a food bank to put on. But all of us came together can make a huge difference and we can eliminate one person from going to bed hungry. We need all of your everybody's support in all the best ways we can to eliminate and make a difference in society that nobody goes to bed hungry, especially our seniors who have done their part in life. It is our time to serve them and physically disabled who are really, really looking forward to people like us to come and help them. Have a very blessed time, a very blessed day, and make sure your blessings are forwarded to others to be served. Jai Shri Ram.